jbeans.net. Curaçao is a small island located in the Southern Caribbean Sea, north of Venezuela, that is part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Together, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao are known as the ABC Islands. In this video, we'll provide an overview of our December 2022 visit to Curaçao, when our ship, the Holland America Rotterdam, docked in the capital city of Willemstad, and we rented a car to explore some of the island's attractions. Just a quick note that if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. It really helps our channel and consider subscribing so you get alerted when we add new videos. Before our cruise, we booked a one-day car rental with Advance Rental Car, a local independent car rental agency based on the positive reviews from previous cruise passengers. Just outside the gates of the Mega Pier, we spotted the Advance Rental Car representative holding a sign with our name on it. In addition to the car, we were also provided a GPS preloaded with the attractions we were visiting, a paper map, and a cell phone we could use to call in case of a problem or when we were ready to return the car at the end of the day. Roughly 15 minutes after meeting the representative, we were on our way across the Queen Juliana Bridge to our first destination, Curacao Sea Aquarium. The aquarium is a popular tourist destination known for its diverse marine life exhibits and interactive experiences. An open water system continuously pumps fresh seawater through the aquarium's tanks so marine life can thrive in a natural environment. We purchased general admission tickets for the aquarium, which gave us access to the touch tanks. Feedings. Dolphin training demonstrations. And the underwater observatory. During our visit, admission was $15 US for adults and $7 US for children aged 5 to 12. And free Wi Fi was available throughout the aquarium. After spending about two hours at the aquarium, we drove back toward town and stopped at Deli Arepas Cafe. Given our close proximity to Venezuela, we wanted to try some arepas, which are a popular regional dish. There were many filling options to choose from, but we stayed relatively simple and shared a cheese arepa and a ham and cheese arepa. Both arepas cost $7.50 each in local currency, or about $4 each U.S. During our visit, both currencies were accepted. After we finished our delicious snack, we made our way to the Curacao Ostrich Farm. During our visit, tickets for the Ostrich Safari Tour cost $20 U.S. for adults and $15 U.S. for children. After purchasing the tickets, we boarded the open-air bus for a roughly 30-minute tour of the farm. Our guide provided information about the life cycle of an ostrich and the history of the farm using a microphone and speaker system. The highlights of the tour for us included having the opportunity to feed a couple ostriches and standing on top of an ostrich egg which can withstand a vertical weight of over 480 pounds. As we exited the parking lot for the ostrich farm, we saw some kite boarders in the distance and decided to drive to the nearby beach to watch them for a bit. We spent a few minutes watching them perform tricks and fly through the air before continuing back towards town. We made a brief stop at the Aloe Vera Farm Curacao, which was located just five minutes away from the ostrich farm. The Aloe Vera Farm specializes in natural skincare products and had a self-guided tour available. 
A gift shop was also available for purchasing some of the farm's products. We continued our journey back into town and headed to Vanden Twiel Supermarket to purchase some Dutch treats to try with friends back home. There was quite an assortment of treats to choose from, and we had a lot of fun picking random items based on the packaging photos. While we were at the supermarket, we also visited their popular cafe and tried two local snacks. A Johnny cake, which was essentially a fried bread with Dutch cheese. And a croquette filled with ground meat. After we finished our snack from Van den Twiel, we drove to the Curacao Liqueur Distillery, which is situated in a 19th century mansion. The distillery is the birthplace of the very popular Blue Curacao Liqueur and is considered one of the top tourist destinations on the island. The distillery offered a free, self-guided tour that included samples of a few different flavors of Curacao liqueur. Guided tours that included cocktails were also available for an additional cost. About six hours after we started our journey, we used the provided cell phone to call the rental car agency to return our car. After making arrangements, the representative met us where we originally picked up the car, just outside the cruise port gates. Since our ship was docked until 11 at night, we rested up a bit and walked into town in the late afternoon. We headed toward the heart-shaped Curacao Lovelock sculpture that we previously visited four years earlier. Along the way, and to the delight of our jelly bean, we were once again treated to a ride on the Queen Emma Bridge as it opened up to let a boat pass through. To our surprise, the Lovelock sculpture had expanded from one large heart during our last visit to three hearts during our most recent visit. After locating the lock we added back in 2018, we added a new lock to commemorate our 2022 visit. On the way back to our ship, we stopped at Dutch Treat, a local food stall that specializes in Dutch snacks that was located near the western end of the Queen Emma Bridge. In addition to local pineapple and peach soft drinks, we tried some French fries, bitterballen, which reminded us of the Van den Twiel croquettes, and a cost souffle, which consisted of melted cheese inside a dough-based wrap that was breaded and deep fried. After sampling a variety of Dutch snacks throughout our day in Curacao, each of us selected our favorite. Daddy Bean's favorite was the Urepas. I enjoyed the Johnny Cake the most. And Jelly Bean's favorite was the Cost Souffle. Luckily for Jelly Bean, the Rotterdam's Dutch Cafe had many cheese souffles available that were a great alternative for the rest of our cruise. <laughs>